Hello, my name is Benjamin Brines, and I'm working with Revision Custom Home Renovations. Uh, we're back here on site at West 47th, and uh, right now we're inside the office. Um, at this point, we've just wrapped up all the rough-in for the electrical, low voltage, plumbing, mechanical. Uh, we started insulation. So because we can't see through walls, uh, sometimes something comes up where we open it up and we discover some pipes that are bent or perhaps have some sort of issues that are uh, causing them to fail. Uh, as you can see, this is all new PEX line uh, supplying the radiant floor heating system. The entire house had a pipe called Poly B, and um, you know at this point you can see that the whole house is virtually open. So we recommend to the homeowner that it might be a good opportunity to replace this type of piping, and uh, that's just exactly what we've done here and throughout the house. All right, so we're looking at the west wall in the office. And as you can see, we've got millwork floor to ceiling, wall to wall. Um, over in this section over here, we've got some shelving with some puck lights built in. And in all the cabinets, we've considered exactly what's going on inside them. So we've got a fax machine going in here and all sorts of files and whatever else you need in the rest of the drawers. So this is the wall we were just looking at that was full of millwork. And as you can see, we've got all of our low voltage lines already set up. All the measurements have been triple checked and we're all ready to go. Okay, so right now you're looking at a wall-mounted toilet. The controls are up here, and it doesn't actually touch the ground. It looks like it's floating on the wall. And uh, we don't use too many of these here, but they are really nice. Uh, you can clean under them really well, and it just gives it that light, uh, airy feeling that you get with the floating. Okay, so another cool feature that I really like about the house is this uh, cast concrete floating bench. Um, as you can see, it's got some framing support underneath it. We just poured it recently, so we're leaving it as long as we can until the concrete sets. But once we take it away, it's going to be this huge slab of concrete spanning wall to wall that's completely floating, cantilevered off uh, specially fabricated hardware that we have built into the wall. Now, this used to be a bedroom, and now this has been turned into a walk-in closet for a second master bedroom. Uh, when we're complete, we're going to have wall to wall millwork, uh, housing all of those clothes, shirts, shoes, whatever it is you need.